So you see uh, the corner of this room is pretty much messed up. It's got things hanging on the window and the ground is filled with stuff. So I need to come up with a plan, a plan where I can organize everything. And this is what, it's got the, the long racks and the short racks. And then it's got two handles on either side of the board. So this is what it looks like. It's got front board, it's got front panel and a drawer. And the size of this should be, it should have the length till my waist and I should be able to put in my wicket, badminton racket, cricket bat, my tripod and my monopod and of course my Charlie Chaplin umbrella. To start off with, I need to cut both the sides. So the sides are l shape. So to cut it out was first a challenge for me because from the main board if I cut two L shape out the remaining will not be very good. You can't use it in a very good way. So to reduce wastage the best option that came to me was cut it this way and no wastage at all. So I started to uh, mark it, measure it, made sure the measurements were perfect. Using the set square on the long scale Place two log of wood at the bottom and your board on top. Use a circular saw guide to make a straight cut. When you usually need to make a long straight cut on your board, you need a circular saw guide. So to make one, first measure the base plate of your circular saw. Then measure the distance from the blade to the shorter side. Then add 2 cm more and get a long 6 feet width with 12 cm and 5 cm plywood. Glue and nail the 5 cm over the 12 cm. With side B facing outward give a straight cut using the guide. And there you go, you got a perfect straight circular saw guide. The tool I am using next is jigsaw. This is the most versatile tool and has got a thin blade. This is good for vertical and curve cuts. At the base of the saw, the blade is exactly in the middle. Measure the distance from the blade and transfer the measure to the board you are going to cut. And using a guide, you can get a straight cut. So this tool helps me to get that L board without any wastage. Now use the base and mark the sides of the board to the base and using the L brackets I hot glue them to the base. Then I drill them and screw them. Using a pointed tool I punch holes into the wood. This way it's easier to drill or you'll miss the mark. It is best to use electric screwdriver or your hand is sure to ache. Now next work is the front board. You see the 3 fourth of the board is seen outside and one fourth goes inside the front panel. So this board will have 18 mm shoulder in both the sides on which the front panel will rest. After drawing and marking the measurements on the board, cut it. Make sure the measurements are correct using combination square.
there you go the first phase is done